this is the container which I have cut in between and this is a blade this is an ice cream stick DC motor additional wires this is battery this is on off button propeller fan cross-sectional pipe battery clip container cap soldering machine glue gun and cutter now I'm going to attach the container with the cross-sectional pipe in the circle which I have made in between the container with the help of glue gun as you all can see Now I am going to connect the switch button with the motor wire so that we can switch on and off it accordingly. So we have to connect this red wire with this red wire. The clip black wire with this black wire and this red wire with this green wire accordingly. We are using 9 volt DC motor so we require 9 volt battery also. Let's check this battery. As you can see, this is 9 volt battery. Now, we will off the DMM and we will fix this legs of the ice cream stick to the container so that it doesn't move. Now we are going to check if the fan is working or not by connecting this battery. So the fan is working. As we can see, air is coming out. Let's try this by putting the eyes inside. I have took eyes. I want to put inside now it's on the fan as you can see coal cool air is coming out and hence our cooler is completed and the cooler is ready thank you surface tension surface tension is the property of any liquid by virtue of which it tries to minimize its free surface area surface tension is the surface property between the liquid and the solid medium Let's assume a liquid surface, then surface tension of a liquid is measurable as the force acting per unit length on an imaginary line drawn tangentially on a free surface area of a liquid. It is a scalar quantity. Surface tension is a molecular phenomenon which is due to cohesive force. Surface tension of a liquid depends on the nature of the liquid and is independent of the surface area of film or length of the line considered. Small liquid drops are spherical due to the property of surface tension. Let's see a demonstration how surface tension works. Here I have used a copper wire to make this frame and I have put a sliding between it and I have took water and I have mixed it with shampoo. Now let's see. As we can see this frame 
the particles from this side are stretching the partition this side and the particles from this side are stretching the partition this side due to surface tension as we as we pierce one side you can see that the partition shifted this side because the particles on this area are stretching the partition this side due to surface tension and as we slide this here you can see it is moving that side due to surface tension thank you we are going to make mini smoke machine and apparatus required for that are soldering machine glue gun dc motor switch button very quick pens cover small box single stranded wire small propeller fan which i have cut battery clip battery cutter and cord now we are going to make hole in this box in the center and the upper this let's see now we have done the hole in the container accordingly so that our dc motor fits in it properly and we are going to stick this pen this pen which i have cut accordingly the hole which i have done in the box like this i am going to fit it with the help of glue gun so now made all the connections of the wire with the motor and the switch button and now we are going to connect the battery and see if the fan is working so the fan is working properly i am going to attach this now and screw stick for the container to make a stand let's check with the help of glue a stand is ready I have attached a metal piece about the plastic pipe, and I have rolled paper very finely, and I will now burn it. And let's see. as you can see the smoke is coming out from here so this is an example of smoke machine this manner you can create smoke machine thank you